Hi guys. Welcome back to yet another episode of Purely Candid. I'm Nadia. I'm Easy. I'm joined again by the amazing Fat Boy. AKA James Zaddy. <laughs> AKA Tata Shuhana. Shuhana, yes. Wow, it's a long list of nicknames. Yeah. Keep going, ladies. Keep going. Yes. Radio legend. The okay, famous Jameson exactly. N, advocate Legend of the boy child. Of radio. Yeah, um, guys, it's good to have you back. Uh, it's, it's good for us to be back again on set. Um, amazing day over here. And today we're going to be talking about something very, very exciting and also potentially triggering to some of you who might be dealing with a serious case of the ex. We'll be talking about being friends with your ex. Okay? So oftentimes when love ends... The, the, the other two scenarios, either you stay friends with your ex or you completely cut ties with this person. So we'll be discussing different scenarios, scenarios where one is forced or one is inclined to stay friends with their ex or even cut ties with them and what drives us to, to make those decisions. But most importantly, how do you deal with a scenario where your partner has an annoying ex that they are clinging on to or even you yourself are struggling to let go of this famous ex? The ex. So, easy, James, are you friends with your exes? Is there that one ex that you hold on to? I want us to start with easy, then we come to James. Yes, I'm friends with, I think, all my exes. Red flag. <laughs> it's good you came wearing red, so now we no, know. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm friends with all my exes, but what happens is the friendship does not continue immediately after breakup. So in mm. most cases, after breakup, there's that, I like everyone needs to, to just settle and chill. Then mm. maybe like a year later or two years later, we become friends. Because at that time, there is zero feelings. He has moved on, I've moved on. I probably even know about you know his kids, his wife, everything. That is the point when we can become friends. So mm-hmm. right now, I'm friends with all my exes. I think the shortest one, whereby we reconnected in a shorter time, was about like seven months. But in most cases, a, a year, two years later, then we, know we can start talking. And it's like... Purely platonic, because to me, before I even started dating someone, we were already friends. So we already shared something in common. Then romance came in later. So the friendship does not feel awkward mm. if, if like, we break up and then now we start, as in, we're not building a friendship from zero. So the answer is yes, I'm friends with all my exes. Bro? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Tough one. Slim Zaddy is laughing. Mm-hmm. Are you friends ah. with your exes? Well, I think um, I feel like I need to define what an ex is because there's yeah. two yeah. scenarios. There's ex where it was a serious relationship mm-hmm. where you know you viewed yourselves as boyfriend girlfriend, and there was some indication or assumption on the part of one or both of you that you guys were together seriously. Mm. Yeah. Where that falls apart, typically it's hard to stay friends. Uh, yeah. Typically, especially. If one party decides to exit, it means the other person has left with resentments and bitter feelings. Mm. Mm. So either you are going to struggle to remain friends with her or she's going to struggle to remain friends with you. But if it was more of a casual kind of situation Mm -hmm. or not a very serious relationship, those ones, it's easier to maintain friendships. Mm. And you guys already know, I've mentioned before that I'm generally not like friends with chicks. So the closest I will come to with a an ex that I'm not beefing with is that we are cool. Mm. As in, hi, hi, what's good? Hey, long time. Everything good? Yeah, everything good? Your side? You won't yeah, be good. bros. You won't be showing up. We, um, exactly. So if we bump into each together. other, if we bump into each other at the supermarket, at the mall, we can have a friendly moment yeah. and then we keep moving. But I, what we will not be doing is like hanging out, going for parties together, mm. going for movies together. Mm. Where I usually never find myself being that close with anyone, even if I may have dated them and things didn't end so badly. Yeah. Okay, so maybe if you correct it in that way, then I get it. Because to me, we are cool. Now, we may not be BFFs, but of course, that there are times when like, like, it's not that we have just like bumped on each other like i take the effort of which okay for example you've posted something nice and then i comment and then you know a conversation happens for like five five or ten minutes and then it ends there then maybe there's some of them whom once in a while we can actually 
plan and go out. Yeah. So I think I'm cool with all of them. Maybe I should change it in that mm. way. So Would we're you not money like from on the phone, hang out all the time. But some of them, once once in a while, we actually make plans. Mm. Are you Would going you call for, them if you had a problem thing? and say, hey, I need this kind of money right now? No. no. <laughs> then you're not friends with them. Oh, so I'm just cool you're with just my cool exes. With them, okay, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah. Then, yeah. What about uh, when you're experiencing a dry spell, dry romantic spell? Nah. We're, we're going to get to that. We're going to get to that. That is <laughs> one of the biggest don'ts of mm. don't, don't. Mm. But we mm. shall get there, I think, as Nadia said. Yeah. Me, so Nadia, you find some, mm. some, you know, no. There's those I actually cut ties with completely. Mm. There's those that I actually intend to keep in my circles. The so ones who crushed your heart. Those ones you don't <laughs> want to ever no, talk me, to no, again. There's that, but also there's those that honestly do not add any value to you. Like besides the the, the point of our private parts meet, meeting, we don't have anything else in common. Yeah. Like there was no friendship before. There will be no friendship after. Like there's nothing else to talk about. Yeah. Okay, but then that would have been a relationship. Yeah. Like yes, because uh, by them I'm calling you an ex. We we, we, we were just ex, smashing. We're not just smashing. Because just smashing, we are not dating. We're not dating. Yeah, you're just someone who was crossing over. Maybe you you're just not compatible. On. You realize there was nothing really keeping you guys together. Maybe mm. it's a sex. Yeah. yeah, like once once it ends, you're like, why should yeah. we even stay friends? I don't have nothing in common. Different values. Different. So couples. then, what was so all the friendship you guys were exhibiting during the relationship that wasn't the, real we were, relating, we're, relating, we were not really but friends. We're not friends for example if we were just smashing we don't talk about anything deep the, yes. the, the only activity together is either having sex or partying mm. beyond that there is nothing completely zero yeah yeah, so the ones so I'm just friends smashing. with are those that I actually yes, had dated, a connection I, exactly. with no, we like, dated pop, but pop, I had pop, a connection yeah. that did not involve only sex yeah you kind of saw even yourself settling yeah. with them at some point. But I feel like things have changed now, uh, especially in the last 10 years, that people have really shied away from serious relationships. Yeah. So the definition of ex has sort of changed meaning. Most people don't really beef with exes because why would you beef with someone you <laughs> hooked up with for like three weeks or two weeks yeah. and maybe yeah. you drifted apart? I mean, for all intents and purposes, you guys can very easily rekindle Relate that flame. Or even begin a friendship after breaking up so yeah because what, what happened if as a woman i wanted more and then i feel used of him he was just having fun he was just smashing and you know Heal. and this That's woman you. like was <laughs> in her feelings so it could be that one like are both of you in the same space of you're just smashing mm. or one person actually thinks it's like or wants it to go the extra mile that's also another thing a lot of ladies these days are quite impatient. And so if she's like for two weeks or so, a month or two, you guys are hooking up, you're smashing. If she feels like she wants it to be serious and you're not ready, ladies these days aren't shy to just walk away. Yes. We, Without we even hard feelings. Yes. She'll just tell you it's not working. So she won't even like hate you, beef you, with you. She'll just sort of move on and carry on with her life. Mm. And, and that's it. And, and James, I don't call it impatience. And that's probably a, a topic for like another day. But you get to a certain point in life where the biological clock is ticking. I don't have a full year to get to know you. If it's not going to work in two months, you know, you, you'll never see me as a wife. You'll never see me, you know, as being husband, a mother yeah. of your children. Let's move on. Mm. Instead of one month, two months, six months, eight months. Like, what are we doing? Mm. Are you doing as a thesis? <laughs> like, if I'm not it, I am not it. It takes you maximum two months to be like, mm, this person. Because if you're overthinking it, then they're not it. If, if there is a connection immediately, then there is. So women, especially from 30s and above, we mm. don't have time to waste. That's yeah. why you end up having, as you spoke about it in the whole phase, of you just... you. You're in a rotation, rotation. It seems as if you, you're you like churning too many guys, but it's just because like you don't have time to mm. oh, kiki around. In your 20s, you, you have all the time. You guys are going to break, break ties and then make up again six months later because, oh, we met up in a bar. Oh, my God, you look so good. You smash, you start again. As but yeah, but no. but at the same time, that's very dangerous because uh, if you are entering into relationships hoping to settle down and make it like serious you usually so much fun actually the, usually the it butter. takes the fun out of the yeah. relationship and the relationship tends to not succeed because a guy might 
be enjoying the relationship two months in and already he's the, enjoying the, he's not already, under pressure no it, one is asking yes. for anything but then now you start the pressure of when are you meeting my parents are you taking this serious no, and then I, that I, starts I to, to create on that James. that's creates friction it creates fights I and to, then i want to comment on that when and then know. at the same time you as a beautiful woman you're still fielding offers from other interested parties so you're thinking damn why am i still with this guy so you're gonna end this one and and hop on to the next and what i'm saying is that it's a cycle that's going to repeat and before you know it, you're going to be 45 years old and you're still in that relationship cycle of looking for a guy who will commit but the older you get it's going to get even harder that's mm-hmm. the challenge but you said something very interesting when you was it on twitter or facebook you said women um look for fun in relationships and yet the marriage is not really about fun now True. you find a girl who knows that marriage is not supposed to be fun me i don't but want to be in this fun marriage, phase marriage forever be fun. he said you were saying I that said. the reason why it feels Take out, fun out of it bored yeah. is because we're expecting fun for me i've had i've had my fun i've had all the fun i needed to have that's I'm, what you I'm pressuring think. you for marriage because I want to get into childbirth, blah, blah, blah. I, I understand. And just chill. Like, I'm looking forward to that chill phase. Phase. So you Thank say, you. Phase. Ah. Yes, because we have phases in life. If, no, but, but here's so the problem. The fun phase. You start from there up until you die. Hey, until we, I die. See, that's the thing. I've is that closed out the fun phase. 30 years of fun. Uh-uh. That, see, here's what you don't understand. Because it's a phase, it's going to run out. And eventually, you're going to start to feel like you miss the old you. No. Um, it, it has happened so many times. Let me tell you what. You're going to start to feel, what do women always say? I felt like I was losing myself. I had lost my identity. And by that she means that she had devoted her life in the service of a husband and kids or both and is feeling like she's lost the old self she was before who was more free, spirited, more fun, loving. And so guess what happens? The first, uh, and you see this, when they get divorced, they go on social media and talk about, now I'm living my life. I'm rediscovering myself. And typically, it will be accompanied by vacations and the but parties and trips. But it's not just people embracing my point whatever is, point that they're instinct, in in life. That instinct you have for wanting to party isn't an instinct that you can switch off permanently. You can switch it off temporarily, and that's why that's the phase that you're talking about. But, but I don't then, James... That. But I want us to go back to the topic of the excess because okay. I, feel we, I feel us digressing. We are digressing. Um, the question... You just had a very good point about not everyone is potential to, to be termed ex. So let's stick to um, the ex being a serious relationship for purposes mm. of this discussion for mm. it to be more fruitful. So what factors would make you cut ties with someone and what factors would make you keep them in your friend list, like close, close friend list? Okay, so um, for me, if we share the same social circle, because I don't want I don't want it to be awkward. Now, for example, right now the person I'm seeing is your friend, is your man's friend, has met all my friends. If we ever break up, like I'm not gonna ditch all, all, all these friends, or will it be that whenever he's around I don't show up? No. Mm. So at that point I want us to be cool. Or mm. we can be in the same circles to because we share lots of friends, we, we, we can be in the same place together and it's not awkward. However, also now I'm looking at it from the other side. If now I'm dating this guy and then his ex, they share the same circles and I am the, the new girl, will I be comfortable? So exactly. on my side, it has been okay that you know we have the same friend group. But if roles were actually reversed, would I be okay with his ex? Like everywhere we go, his ex is coming be- mm. because his friends are her friends and... So you guys, like you, see, you mentioned, you, you know, you're both in relationships of some kind. Uh, how do you feel about your partner's exes? We're coming to that. Let's talk about. Okay, so we'll talk about you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so how do, how do your partners feel about your exes? Currently. Yeah. Because I'm, I honestly separate my friends. Okay, the thing is, most of the people I dated in the past had not made it to a point that everyone in my current circles knows them. You, was, you are smashing on the no, low. No, okay, yes, kind of on the low. But that was actually me for most of my 20s. People did not know who I was yeah. dating for most of my 20s. Yeah, me too. <laughs> they think, they think you're a virgin. <laughs> yeah, actually, some do, I think. Uh, uh, do I, or it did. wasn't even intentional, but it just so happened that we would on, I would only keep my relationships to myself. Mm. And maybe my sister, maybe um, some, some of my siblings met the guys I was dating. But that was because of the nature of the relationships, I guess. Some were serious. Mm. But even the serious ones, 
were, were only on the closed deal. Off on the deal. Yeah. So and and also because they were not really in my normal social circles, I guess mm. it also it was easy to keep them away compared to my current. That even before we started dating, we had mutual friends. Mm. So yeah, for me the people whom my friends never knew are the ones who are probably bankrolling something in my life. Mm. Of, he's the one that I can't introduce to anyone. Of, <laughs> but, you know, the mobile money keeps popping. The dollars what the, keep that, that, the, the trader down. from <laughs> downtown? Exactly. From Chikubo with the big stomach and seven wives and 11 concubines. And why would they do that? Because they <laughs> still want you back, right? No, no, no. The thing is, okay, she, she said most as her friends never met never, most never of met her exes. Yeah. So me, I'm saying, my friends met most of my exes, except for these ones. I don't, I don't even call exes. They were Saponsa. Saponsa, he bankrolls me and the girls, but no one has ever met him. Everyone just knows there you is someone, someone, someone mm. called something, something, and that's about it. That's if we, we meet, it's in private. He never reaches my hostel. He doesn't know anyone in my family. Nothing. Mm. We just meet. You go, you offer the service. <laughs> Literally get paid or not get paid. They send you mobile, mobile money and I tell the girls, we are loaded. Let's go make the town red. We go do our thing. Those yeah. are the ones where no one ever met them. That Even if we met in public, I wouldn't say hello of like he's there, I am mm. here, you stay there, I say yeah, because everyone everyone is gonna ask, but shouldn't that be like your dad or something? I don't know. <laughs> so what yeah. about the ones so you're friends with all of them, you don't even have one ex who you hate? No. So she's cool with dislike. That. I'm cool with all of them. Because you now to be me having ex plotting ex to ban their car or something. Yes. No. An ex no. <laughs> Okay, immediately after breaking up, like you, like if you mentioned even their name, I would want to throw up, because most all my breakups actually were never initiated by me. Really? Right, all wait, my what breakups. Are you yes. I was like, that's a, all my breakups. That's very surprising. All my breakups surprising, have yeah. never been initiated by me. Hmm. Of because when I was young, so in my in f- my first boyfriend, I dated him. From around 19, or rather 18, up until almost like 26, 20, 20, 25, 26. Then when we broke up, I went into Mental the whole phase. phase for four years. Four good years. From, from like 26 up to 30. Oof, oof, oof. So none of them were like serious. It was just a smash. So I was probably having like three or four men at the same time. But there was nothing serious of like, you know, like there is James, mm. there is Peter, there is Brian, there is, you know, Patrick. And then all of them are around. But none of them sees me as a girlfriend. I don't even call them boy, boyfriend. We, we only meet up if we want to smash. So that phase happened. Then in my, like in my 30s, 30, 31 and 32 is when I dated about like three guys, but each of them had a lifespan of about a year or eight, mm. eight months to a year. Now, that is whereby I was now intentional in dating. Of we date, if six months later I'm not seeing any form of commitment, I dump. Now, who or, dump? You or, said that they okay, dump. Okay, so, so I don't dump, but I start demanding for we either make it serious or let me go. And most times they let me go. Mm. Of like, for, for them, they're still, you know, in that phase of, I don't want anything serious. Yes, I like you, but let's give it time. I don't have time to wait. The clock is ticking. I move on to another person. So the three people in between there whom I am cool with, like, by, by the time they, they let me go, like, six months or eight months later, I thought as if all this time I would have invested in another person. So there was a bit of animosity in between there. Mm. So it takes me, like, a year for me to again become cool with them. But I tell myself we didn't break up in bad terms. We just we we were two good people who were good for each other. So I let you go. I also move on. You make peace. Yeah, I make peace with them. <laughs> 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 so <laughs> why is it that <laughs> why is it that they say when people are in relationships, the number one um, when people cheat Mm. Married people, people in relationships, when they cheat, the number one person they cheat with is an ex. It's rarely with a new that's person. Yeah, that's Unfinished true. business. That's usually. true. And no, usually exes can somehow remain in the picture like for a long time. 
It's actually the familiarity. Like they, they become a fallback guy. Like in between relationships, you holler at a dude. <laughs> My theory is mm. if you already racked up the bodies, you don't want to add to your body. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. It's better the devil I know. You're like my edges my edge is competing with my body counts familiar i won't go on the streets and start from zero because i don't even want anything serious i am just cheating i am okay in my marriage i'm not saying i'm i'm looking to move out and date like start afresh so, so you're I'll basically conserving your even fishing. him he knows mm. this it's just about sex but getting a whole new person and then starting to like introduce them to myself oh i am the this sex I'm married like. here but i i i have kids this is what i oh, what i like i like you know sex in this way I, that, that's that's too much work so i go back to what is familiar mm. yeah that's why recycle reuse right exactly mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> question answered i hope you know it's so funny but uh, some ex boyfriends even and i don't know if you've seen memes and jokes about this but mm. it's like when her new boyfriend is acting all insecure the ex can be like dude me i've been in <laughs> her life for mm-hmm. like seven years mm-hmm. you're the you're the new guy here yeah, so relax. please behave exactly. <laughs> calm down Just sit down and get comfortable eh? soon you will be gone and, and but me i'll still be here <laughs> so don't uh, feel too sweet and so yeah. that's crazy what would make you stay friends with your ex Well, um if you have a business together, well that you would have to somehow sure. remain cordial, right? Yeah. But yeah, so for me, um I typically don't have much an- animosity mm-hmm. for uh people that uh, exit my life. Or well, in my situation in my life, I've not been the one that's typically ended things. And I know in the the term ending relationship mm. almost seems vague these days because people can kind of just drift apart so neither have really ended things but i've never like specifically told someone i don't want to see you again like that's only ever happened like once in my life okay so james that is what if you spoke to all my exes they'll tell you we never ended things mm. but the fact that me i want some something serious and you're dragging your feet you just and then, you're communicating now, that yes, yes it's indirectly you silent exit it. exactly mm. so i may end up exiting and walking away but why did i exit because for you you were comfortable staying there so so you, you don't have to tell them we are done no but the fact that she she wants you to to to, to now meet people, her siblings yeah. she wants to meet your mom and you don't and want you don't it want that, yeah. and then you that drifting apart what made it drift apart because she wanted more and for you you are comfortable here mm. so you have actually ended a lot of them if if at all they start to demand for in that more yeah way. because they they wanted it to be taken to the next level and for you you are like no i'm happy here Maganda say um such a touch hour that men exactly exactly men it's true, yeah, actually they don't say it out loud they have dumped you but they actually dump you really he just be, because you're putting him under so much pressure now all of a sudden if you want to hang out he's busy he wants to watch a game instead yeah he because men f- for we have a different mating strategy for men our strategy is we build harems meaning we like to accumulate women mm. so if you have one want to add another yeah. and add another and add another women yeah. women are more serious they date in a serial yeah, fashion serious. Yeah. meaning yes. you're with one this one time. done Next, Next one time. done. Mm. That's one mm. done. So it's rare to see women dealing with too many men simultaneously. Yeah. But for men it's quite common. It that's so why it happens. That's why if you're a guy's it's girlfriend, mm. if you're a guy's girlfriend and maybe for a period of time you're not like calling him or trying to see him or what, uh in your mind you might think it's over, but in his mind he's like, yeah, maybe she's just chilling or oh I'll call her men sometime. Men are the lulu sometimes. The lulu. Eh? Of like you you genuinely think oh she's she's <laughs> just busy. This is someone whom you've been speaking to every day she has been hitting you up and now she has she has gone quiet and you just think yeah she's probably busy. Yeah. She uh, was busy before but she made time for you. Exactly. She <laughs> yeah. made time for you. She and that is busy. and that is why I think there are some exes who simply never give up. I'm sure among your exes there must be some who still talk oh to you as God. though you are still dating. <laughs> They, they speak to you in a way that makes it sound like they're still you're still their woman. They even call you babe. Yes. Hi babe. Yeah, anyway. that's the thing. There's one guy who kept calling me babe for like 10 years I'm like dude. Literally, my name is Nadia. Call me by my name. Because babe, to them, I don't know. Actually there's 
there's also one who he says hi hi babe and I tell him hi hi han but he has moved on he knows I've moved on but, but you say han and babe each other like because he has never stopped calling me babe <laughs> and for some reason it I don't know it's just yeah so let's move on to the next part of um those exes that linger around mm. or either trying to get back in or I don't know this to your current relationship but maybe how before, do uh-huh. before we move away I think another reason as why people also stay code your with the excesses if you have kids if the kids involved you have yeah. a child with like you will co-parent for the rest of your lives you have to be so now there Spider. will you mama shuha sh- sh- mm. if you guys broke up i don't know if you are to to together but if you if you have to co-parent the baby is is will be this time another time there even if she she ends up getting married so is a baby daddy like a permanent fixture. It's not even he's, an ex he's, anymore. He's, he's not family. an ex. He's family. He's the father of my kids. No, he's but he's 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 an Bro, ex because he, he may be married and, and you're also married. Father of my kids. Yes. Because the, okay, wow. wait, 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 wait. If your man had an had an had an ex and then he told you that no 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 this one is this one is is not just my ex she is a mother of my kids and you're married to to him how would it make you feel and that's why me I said 100% no he uh-huh. will, he will describe her as the mother of my child he will not even begin on ex jazz it's it will be my ex different title this is my ex wife if they were married but if they just had a child together no but in Uganda what my friend and at, at his funeral they'll be calling her his wife mm. oh bro exactly. you know in Africa. Africa. In Africa, <laughs> once you have someone's yeah. kids, you're a wife. Mm-hmm. Mm. You're definitely a wife. So. <laughs> but also, in some, some scenarios, we keep these exes around because they are influential and they could help you. Say, for instance, your ex is, you know, is that, somewhere. No. It's just a gamba no. Yes. Of you will call him and he knows every big big person in government, in police, in what. Uh-huh. Not. You have to keep them. You, you know, have to keep that ex yeah. happy. Exactly. Whatever it yes, takes. happy by Keep the way. Very happy. happy. <laughs> Never ever make him feel as if you have animosity. Bro? Mm. Because because next time he may be your only speed dial. Mm. Just uh maybe that's why like Zari and uh what's his name? Diamond seem to be yeah, super friendly cuz exactly. he's the biggest yeah. pop star. He's making friends with Africa. his his current. Exactly. Being being very cordial with his current mm. and you're like what well, like they're having even like girl g- girl dates and trips and and everything. I would go to those lengths. I swear. To yeah, God. yeah, yeah. If exactly. If Diamond was my ex, I'd be doing the same thing. Of course, a hundred percent. Yeah, a hundred. So that's the secret to managing a polygamous <laughs> family is to make sure that all the women are taken care of, so that even if they're your exes, they will even view themselves as sisters you, exactly yeah. as friends and like uh, they they put their heads together and defend you to the uh, i don't know so what does that mean for your next or for your current partner for your uh, new relationship i want to hear james's james's idea well just on zari still uh you saw the picture of shakeb and uh, diamond which yep. mm-hmm. the video and I'll, to a lot of men it just seems so demeaning like we were sort of clowning the young guy like yes. hey, how could you like where's your respect because it just for men it just uh, it just feels icky but also that man is just is just a trophy husband right it's like he though. what 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 okay i don't know much about the but what what does it bring to the to the table i, I can't say i know him past exactly dick looks looks after her other kids. than other than dick and being your uh, not just driving around, around your husband, kids but and potential look after me when i'm old you know like you need to look 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 at the future and that's why i said he's a trophy yeah, husband he's not just a husband he's a and potential he, he's caretaker Drops your kids to school. He does a lot yeah. of errands. He's hey, like, but uh, he's your errand boy. <laughs> not, not, like not a trophy guy. You. Not a trophy Come on, guy. maybe he's very intelligent and Probably, smart and we don't wise. Know. Maybe he keeps her young. We don't know. Maybe she, he's a secret to why she looks fire. <laughs> <laughs> No, oh. I'm just saying. But I'm just saying. But anyway, let's let's discuss the case of the ex. If the ex is always lingering around, uh, trying to get into your business. I mean, you're trying to move on, but the ex is always there. Your your, your man's getting impatient. How do you deal with that? Mm. Well, I think um, I, there was one lady I dated who had been divorced, and um, she was always keeping tabs on her ex-husband. She was always sort of watching. Mm. Him. Mm. Uh, and did I've and I've read somewhere. They no, they didn't. But I've read that this is fairly common. Mm. Uh, if we go with the assumption that women are the ones that end most relationships, and they end these relationships because they they are hoping to find a better option. Yeah. Mm. And so you imagine it's now ten years since you broke up with this guy, and you haven't yet found someone to settle with. 
you are going to be curious about how he's doing just yeah. so that you can convince yourself that you didn't make the bad choice. And so that is why ex-girlfriends typically stalk ex-boyfriends' social media constantly. Or even if you left thinking that he will see whatever he's losing and may come back. <laughs> or you didn't really want to, to leave. <laughs> but then... But then you end up leaving and thinking that, okay, now he's going to like wake up and be like, okay, I can't really lose you. Let me come back. Da, 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 da. Like, Martin Saga. I was not serious. You leaving. signed him for steppers. You thought you were joking. <laughs> no, no, no. Have you, you ever guys, regretted you dumping someone? Crazy. Have I ever regretted dumping someone? Uh, one person. My first boyfriend for sure. For me, yes, one w- one person I did, but why did I regret? Because it took me a long time to get someone who matched up to 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 him. But also, I left, or rather, I keep saying he dumped me, and he keeps saying he never dumped dumped me because I wanted something serious, and he wasn't becoming serious. Mm. So I exited, but to me, he forced me out. Then after that, that and I think that is when I like I kind of I was like. Good girl gone bad, of like just hopping in bars and doing everything, thinking that maybe I'm gonna meet someone who was as grounded as him, and then it took it took me a while, and I'm like, maybe I shouldn't have, maybe I should have waited, but wait for how long he was saying he's he's okay wherever he he is. So to me, and now you're completely over him. Yes, a hundred percent, a hundred percent. To me, uh, that was a code language. If I don't see you as a wife, you'll never be a wife. You'll always be a right now. Person. The guys I broke up with that I regret wanted serious stuff the very first one i felt like i was too young mm. <laughs> i was still at uni blah blah blah. my first boyfriend and i was like ah yeah, am i ready to be a wife at this age exactly. i haven't seen oh nothing. actually i've have also thought of another one oh of that kind. but he was everything. he wanted Husband a child potential. he wanted marriage he even met my parents he did yeah. everything but to me i'm like i'm i'm, I'm 26 what the hell 26 will I, be is doing? I was 20 I, I was 18 when i began dating okay 19 when i began dating him and it, to me, I just knew oh, that baby. I was going to damage this person for the next person. Because I'm too young to get married, I may end up getting, uh, getting married. I'll break his heart. I'll be childish. I'll be everything. And then I'll damage his image of marriage. Because I have met guys who were married, very happily married. The moment the marriage ends, eh, like, he, like he just wants to have... He doesn't want... He, doesn't, mm. like he has trust issues. He's, I didn't want to damage him yeah. for the next woman. So I just... I was like, you know what? Mm-mm. You're Too late. Married. You already did it. Yeah, I already did it. But I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm glad he finally got married. He's, uh, he's. But if you hollered, no, he still hollers. We, we actually oh. chat. He still wants. How does that affect your current relationship? <laughs> <laughs> I want to know. Why do you tell your current person? He's going to watch this oh, and he's going to know for okay, sure. Okay, I usually tell. tell <laughs> your guy well, knows about all your exes. That's what I'm he sure knows. Of. He knows. He knows because. <laughs> I am just I, I <laughs> you overshare me. I'm like I share too much, I too I don't much have courage, too much, too much. I even send him like screenshots. I'm like, okay, so we had dinner, we had this. He's not okay with it, but I keep on telling him that by the time I'm open enough to tell you all this, it means there's nothing. I am hiding. But if you found out later on that I was doing all this, it would break you. Mm. So to me, they are just friends. I don't see them beyond friendship. So at some point, he made peace with the fact that that you know what, I'll keep on being friends with my exes. Was he okay with it at the very start? No. Mm. But after some time where I was sharing everything, like, you know, the flowers on my birthday, like an an ex has sent, I don't know, he has bought me this, another one has done this, another one has paid. So now your guy is competing with your exes indirectly. Is because he, he, he may not, you may not be getting with them like that, but you're putting this kind of pressure of like, this is the standard, bro. You either do this or you're going to bounce. <laughs> They're going to slide back in. Yeah, so... Not just to buy flowers, but to do other things. You were talking about presents. Like, do you normally get, uh, and maybe I'll ask both of you guys, like, do you normally get inundated with presents <coughs> on your birthday from exes yes. and your current is like, mm, what's going on? And mm-hmm. then maybe you have to hide all the presents that have been sent to your for office for me i don't hide as in like i even i even like show him everything because on my Sorry. birthday almost all my exes sent me something some some even send money and i tell me i'm like oh by the way x sent this y sent this oh this one is from this person oh at first he wasn't okay with it like he it used to bother him and i'm like but by the time i'm telling you open it means there's nothing i'm hiding i don't want mm-hmm. them if i wanted them i would be with them right now 
crazy. But I, if I, the I, roles <laughs> were actually re- reversed, exactly, I think I would exactly. I'd actually be okay with it. No way. He has an ex whom they have, whom whom they were very close with. It didn't bother me at all. Not even a single bit. Mm. The level of security is what I aspire for. Me, I don't share shit like that. Any ex of mine he knows, or the ones that he knows, I'd mention ex this, but never name, or he will never know. For who. me, he knows names. Bro, he knows thing. where they work. Well, no. If I was smashing you, he would know everything about it you. Just kind of conversation. James used to do this. He used to do, yeah, he likes this. Oh, yeah. James, by the I talk to James. No, okay, like even like the sexual stuff. Everything, talk about. bro. Girl everything. is an really? overshare. Yes. Me, that's I dangerous. Talk about. That's I overshare. That stuff demoralizes guys. Yeah. I, had, I had a girlfriend that was just, she couldn't shut up about sex with her past. No, I don't compare. I don't compare. But you're like, actually it, it giving just, him, you're giving him something to compare himself against. It just, you're it, was just dem- it was you're just demoralizing me, and also very bar. gross. Also very gross. Because obviously now if you're in an intimate situation, you're just picturing her in all those situations mm. and even struggle to f- enjoy what you're doing. No, okay, so I am so not don't telling overshare. you that, oh, James used to love Doggy and he's doing it this way. No, 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 I'm going to be like, like if some, like one time we're talking about something random, then I may say, oh, that was actually James's thing. He used to like that and it ends there. Then, mm. so I'm not going and like all the time what? talking about you. And, yes, it was his thing. If I meet an ex of mine, my current will not know. <laughs> if I to buy me wow. a gift, they will not know. Wow. Same thing, Unless I, same I'm thing I would expect from him. Keep your ex business to yourself between you and them. I don't want to know about it. <laughs> I rather live in the Lulu of it's just me. I'm the only one. I'm yeah. the girl. The mm-hmm. only one you've ever For been me, with. tell me everything until I tell you, okay, this does not make me comfortable. But you anymore. already know about it. Now you're already uncomfortable. <laughs> no, 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 no. Because, <laughs> no. Now, for example, if he is persistent and says, I don't like how close you are to that person. Then I'm going to tell them, you know what? My person does not like us over chatting. So I'm going to cut you off. It's that simple. For me, I'm such an open book. Okay, it's now let, let's funny. flip it the other way around. Mm. Does he have any exes that make you lose sleep? No. No, he has like exes. I'm like, damn, why did you leave her? And they're so friends. But the fact that he is also open enough to tell me about their friendship. Mm. For me, the problem comes in when now I start becoming suspicious. I start thinking, Mm. hmm, like there, there is a problem. But if you you tell me openly, I'm I'm very okay with it. Oftentimes you find maybe your guy had mm-hmm. this one chick that maybe his family knew, his friends knew, and that's the person that they associated him with, mm. like the ex. Mm. And then, he, or the girlfriend, the one that he was his chick. And he may not talk about her to you, but people will say, oh, uh, so-and-so used to do this. Oh, so-and-so did this and this with him. It wouldn't like, bother me, Nadia. Those things are the ones that actually hurt the most. It of, wouldn't like, bother me even To everyone else, I am just a new chick that's trying to fit into this space, but I'm not his girl. I'm not, I'm not with him like that. So, um, we shared a lot about how we deal with our exes, but I'm very curious to know, are there any ways to handle ex-relationships or ex-relations while in a, in a current relationship? What are some do's and don'ts that we should, we should adopt? I want to go to, to, to Easy first because she seems to have the tightest of ties with her exes. For me, the first do is clearly set boundaries of, in as much as we are friends, I don't want you to start discussing my current until I voluntarily give you information. Mm. Of like, don't start asking me, so how is your man? How does he do this? Does it, you know, do you, do you see like this? Does he do this for you? Do, no, no. Let's set boundaries. If we are talking, it's just we are kicking. Because me, I will talk about my ex to my current. Very rarely will I do a reverse. Mm. Because I know he'll capitalize on that and be like, ah. I'm even happy that she's not happy the, the other side. Then now he'll start seeing, seeing that as a subtle sign of I in. can slide back in. So I set boundaries. We can talk about anything and everything. But let's not talk about my current. I also don't want to ask about your current until you tell me. Mm. Oh, by the way, you know, my babe is doing this. And I'm like, oh, okay. So how is it going? But, but not me. Okay, so, you know, does she still like you doing this? You used mm. to do this to to me you also do that to her Mm-mm. funny enough like with one of my exes that i'm close to we mostly talk about our current relationships <laughs> in the conversation i would know when they're having issues you would come to me for a, a girl perspective yeah on something and i would actually like tell him hey this is how 
I, I would think it's going down or oh, this is what you could do. But actually, if you're cool with each other, the, the thing is, it's them who are bringing it. And yeah. that's why I say, Not I, asking, yes. exactly, I will bring it up. I will tell him if I'm having, if I need like a guy's perspective, I don't want him to initiate and ask me. Mm, mm, so, mm. The, I, so the don't is don't ask. But the do is yes, you're free to ask for my opinion on how to deal with your girl's emotional outburst. Mm. Then I'll tell you, okay, maybe it could be this, maybe it could be that. Have you tried asking about this? Have you, mm-hmm. you know? Because we are cool with it. Oh my God, James can't even fathom it. Yeah. I think the biggest boundary you said is also on the sex bit, on the physical aspect. Yes. Because it can be very familiar. Yes. Like, yes. like you yes. said, like, he could just touch. He knows where exactly to of touch. Of course, he where knows where exactly that. to touch, mm-hmm. and what would what would the reaction be? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I find that exes are very familiar, and that's the allure of mm. uh, getting remaining close with exes, mm. especially if there is a potential for rekindling. It it can seem safer than having to start afresh with a new person. Yeah. So if uh, there's an opportunity for you and an ex to reconnect, I, I'd say that's a good thing. As long as it's not affecting what you're doing now. Um, but like if you're like in a situation at the moment, but then you also have an ex and the ex wants to hook up. I mean... For a similar situation or for, for something serious. Right. Because the dude she's messing with right now is boring her or something. And then, hey, she I needs mean. a friendly face to spend time with. Why not? I mean, you're not hurting anybody. What dudes would you recommend in terms of ex relations? Well, if you... It depends. So if you are like single and essentially you're not attached to anybody, um, I guess, you know, if there was a good relationship between you and the ex and the person can add value to your life, has connections, Mm. can connect to job opportunities, business opportunities, I think you would be foolish to cut the person off completely. Um, Mm. But uh, for those who really add no value to your life, you probably don't need to be spending your energy on them. So would yeah. you say if you're single, you could also use them as a s- soft spot? Like of course. An easy smash every now of and then. Of course, day. like on a slow Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> when, uh, you know, you're not... Uh, on when a cold Wednesday. On a cold Wednesday and yeah. you don't have anybody there and uh, that your ex is also of the same mindset. That's a don't. Because you don't That's want for James. He's to just... go back <laughs> into bed with them. That's the same thing which made you guys break up the first time. It's maybe the thing is, the maybe time. the difference between men and women is that maybe our emotional attachment will not be as strong yeah, sure. if, if, yes. if, if you were to open that door yes. again. Yes. Whereas right. for the woman, it could re- remind her of old feelings and it could easily get her confused about things yeah it's weird because know. in most cases i rarely get sexual sexual urges for my exes exactly exactly I would there's get nothing with a new person there's nothing completely nothing because i've been there done done, done yeah, that like you're no longer interesting for exactly me, i have explored it it's just like gum you have chewed it and there's nothing <laughs> left in it oh, well it's i beg to differ anymore. because uh you know what hey there are some exes there are some exes who are really good at certain things. Yeah, that's true. I, I, I'm saying that they're not good, but am I interested? Do I want to explore that? The thing with them? is, are they interested in a certain thing or everything about them was this amazing? So why did you let them go in the first place? Mm. Why did you fight for them? Well, it could be that they had a few qualities that you didn't like. Maybe like they were arrogant and they weren't. You know very, how to cook. Well, stuff like that. But and let's say, you know, maybe she gave great head, right? Mm. And so you're going to be like, okay, I love the great head that I'm getting, but she's wrong in all the other areas. Let me try my luck with other women, find women who mm. are better mm. in those areas. Mm. And hopefully they'll also be as good as her at giving head. And then, and then the rest day, are not. <laughs> one day on a, on a, on a call when, <laughs> called Wednesday morning, you are thinking of, of, of how she'd be blowing up your mind Super at head. this point in time. Ex- <laughs> exactly. Yeah, and God. so you could be there with the perfect girlfriend you always wished for. But then your mind just keeps going ex- back to that girl ex- that could do that one thing then good. Teach her how to give you. No, because, wait. no, no, no. Na- <laughs> na- do Nadia. it like how you. So Angela no, used to do no, it like no, this. no, Nadia. It's not that. For example, <laughs> if I like a man to go down on me, it doesn't matter. Now, the, James may have done it perfectly. But it's what I like. It's not about what James like. Did. Like exactly. Mm. So James did it. Did that it. Way. Did it well. Now I can teach. Uh, uh, I don't know, Stephen, how to do it the way James did it without telling Stephen that this is how James did. Like, <laughs> I, I direct him. And I see, that's, that's one of the biggest <laughs> challenges. Do the exact, 
know? That's one of the biggest challenges yeah. because if your hang-ups with your ex arises from sort of the sexual chemistry you had, mm, mm. then chances are you broke up with her because she was probably a hoe. Because the girls who are good at sex, they do tend to be hoes. Ah, which on. That's, come a, that's, they do, that's, that's the just, biggest lie. I'm, I'm just, <laughs> I'm sorry, but the internet but it's the has truth. ever crafted. But like, if you, get, if you get super caring, super loyal girl, typically she's not going to be as sexually experienced as your more naughty, stubborn you ex-girlfriends see, I, I, who had been know. around sexual the block. Sexual experience. Which is why they were not, good at it. Sexual experience is not about hopping on every dick. You'd be There's, surprised. No, the thing is, as a woman grows it takes up, practice. sex is about okay, confidence. Practice can be with one person. Like yes, with one person. Not, like people who have been in a long term relationship, like from when they were in their early 20s. And everyone says sex gets better with with age, not and then with for you, people. you've been with multiple guys, yes, but you'll probably hook up like once, one guy in <laughs> one year. <laughs> I don't know. I, I just. Know that, and in 20 years, yes, you may have the same years of experience, but you've not had sex as frequently as someone who has been with one guy for a very long time. But come on, don't tell me you don't also feel the same way where you meet a guy who's like perfect boyfriend, super caring, super dedicated, but man, his bedroom game just... You know, it's it whack. happens. I feel like it happens more for us than it does for for, for men. I feel like exactly. women and are more So you know what it feels like. No, women are more teachable, for sure. Even men Sexually. are teachable. The problem only happens if... Are they really? No, no, no. Can men- you teach stamina? No, no, no. Can you teach no. size? You really can't teach stamina. <laughs> stamina no. and size cannot be no. Stamina, <laughs> yes. Be size, no. Because now, for example, oh. for size, okay, unless it's just like a woman who, who, is, who, is, who has all the best skills and is dry. She's just dry. It doesn't You're matter if she can right. do the, all the acrobatic things. So there's certain there's things are teachable, and then there's certain things which... You can't just change. Mm. A guy no, with a small right. dick always stays a guy with a small dick. But the you, you can, can change. teach stamina. The positions you can, teach. can change. The positions may ch- yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. You can teach. But Nadia, if if the thing is is like for, and I'm not being stereotypical, but we, we have, have you ever watched Chinese porn? <laughs> oh my God. It feels like never a grown porn. man. <laughs> With a baby's dick, and you're like, are they molesting him? Or because, because <laughs> he's a grown man, <laughs> but oh with a little gosh. child's, you know, dick. Like, try and watch Chinese porn. I don't. Now, those Why ones, would you I can't watch change Chinese them. Porn? Why yeah, would you I can't change them, <laughs> <laughs> guys? No. Asians well, so are very so therein lies the problem. So then, what are you supposed to have with exes who are well endowed and are good at sex? Are you just supposed to cut them off and stay with the dude with the small thingy? The thing is, for me, what I was looking for was commitment. He wasn't ready but to commit. But it's not always so, what you're looking so, for. I don't think that's always what you're no, looking I'm for in relationships. No, I'm saying me. Me as me. The reason as to why I leave a guy whom I saw myself with as my future husband is because the kind of commitment I wanted, he does not want it now. And the 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 whole lie of now is is a lie. Mm. He just does not see you as the wife he wants. Because if a man meets the right woman for him, mm. most likely he'll, he'll settle down. For he'll us, for us women, it's about timing. Yeah. It doesn't matter if the man is bad. If we are mentally prepared at that time, we shall set, settle with anyone who comes across. A man who is not ready now, for you, will meet another woman whom whom he sees as a wife and is gonna be ready now for her. So to me, it doesn't matter how good the dick was. I want a family. He doesn't want a family. I don't want to be a single mother. Bitter, single, what? I don't want to be that. Yeah, but the problem is that you keep going back to exes like that. And that's what I mean is... uh, Why? There must be something special. Exactly. Because you're missing that in the current relationship or marriage that you're in. Is that your current person isn't bringing it to the table like the other one did. Honestly, I've been there before where you're like, "Eh, never know. You ain't why? feeling it. Why? But why like why? this? <laughs> why is it so good everywhere else except yeah, yeah. Chinese See? Chinese porn <laughs> so, <laughs> style. Yeah. Hence don't, the, the don't, ex don't, don't, don't. the Just ex the comes don't. to the rescue. Oh my gosh! Yeah, the right? don'ts. <laughs> I think I think for me another don't is do not compare. That first of all. If I am your girlfriend and then I keep comparing, my ex did this for, for, for me and you don't do this. My ex always did this. I think that that, that is a big no-no. 
Mm-hmm. You can be friends with your exes, but don't start letting your current know that you know you are comparing. And it's like as if okay, if if at all he was so good, why are you with him? him? Yeah, but I think sometimes you don't intend to compare, but because you're telling them constantly about your exes and what they were doing, you actually bring about the highlights of your past relationships. Oh my God, so and so used to do this for me. You're highlighting all the good things they were doing, mm. you're giving your guy something to compare himself against indirectly. Mm. You're saying that's the template, use it. <laughs> and that's why that is a don't because it, don't, it, my, my don't would be don't say anything like have the ex conversation at the beginning of the relationship why did, why did it end A, B, C, D, E no Nadia the you conversation, about your exes, end it. the conversations you're having it's not that we, we, we are meeting we are sitting and then I'm telling you oh I had an ex who was called James James you know this is his name he used to like this he stays here no it's the random things of we are passing via via and I'm like, oh, that wouldn't be my relationship. James used to stay there. That is one. Never then, do that. Then, never do that. Then, like, no, six at least months no one later, should ever do that to me we, because we I may burn down that house. And then, you know, I get a cologne. I'm like, oh, this used to be James's favorite cologne. So I'm not That's sitting and say. downloading oh, everything gosh. about James in one go. <laughs> that is <laughs> a tunnel. And you know, when you drop crumbs like that and you keep picking them up, it's going to make a whole loaf of bread. Yeah, I'll tell you a funny story. So there was this lady who, you know, we just um, started dating and she was like, she kind of liked the fact that I was treating her very well. And mm. she, she had mentioned that it's what she was looking for at that stage in her life. And she complimented me on how respectful I was and how caring I was. And so there I was feeling like a nice guy and mm-hmm. uh, she flattered me. And then she was like, and you know what? Oh, I just decided that time had come to love myself because I was in a very dysfunctional relationship before this guy was such in uh, comes a terrible. He was such an asshole. That's and th- this whole time I'm like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's a red flag. feeling good that I'm better than him in all those ways. And then she spoiled it by saying, but man, I think th- the problem was it was the sex. The sex was just so stupid, crazy. <laughs> the guy would bang me till I didn't know what was happening. It was insane. Like I've never black and blue. So, <laughs> So that, at that point, like my heart sort of fell to my feet and I just never was able to regain my confidence because every time we were in an intimate <coughs> yeah, situation... Yeah, you were just imagining what the <laughs> guy would be doing to her. E- exactly, because if it so happens, yeah. it's one of those days where it's not really fire because you know how sex is. Sometimes it's explosive and sometimes it's kind of so meh. So there would be those people. times where I'd be like so insecure, like, oh, hmm. I wonder if right now she's thinking about that crazy sex that mm. uh, she had with the guy before. And, and so that's why I'm saying it's, uh, it's probably not a good idea to overshare about those personal details with your current partner when it comes to your ex. Okay, so... Save that for your the, girl The details talk. which are being shared, like, 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 it's not that explicit, mm, guys. I'm telling you, you drop crumbs. This no, man not is picking example, them up, picking them for, up, picking them for up. For example, if... Men how about this one? How about this one? Oh, men don't I, love, I love having sex with you. It's so great. The, my ex-boyfriend, he used to make me so sore. <laughs> <laughs> But you, it's no. nice yeah, and smooth. smooth. Oh, You're no, the no. perfect shape for me. So no. in, I'm like, wait. Husband size. He, are you <laughs> trying to say that I'm we? small? <laughs> so, be careful, man. Mm. Just keep that no, stuff no, no. to yourself. At least we, think... that, that would be my, me, I, I would say that's a don't. Oversharing is a don't. Limit it to what needs to be known. If you want to make your guy jealous low-key because of something your ex did, drop it, but with intent, don't do it with an, oh, I'm just sharing, I'm being open. Bruh. Like strategic, no one needs to know that Strategic shit. No sharing. No one needs to know all that. Trust, mm-hmm. for trust me. me. For human, me, human minds are very, I totally very agree, weak. Nadia. I totally agree. And the kind of sharing that James is talking about, that is comparison. Because for me, my sharing is subtle. For, for example, I meet, like, I get this and I'm like, oh, James had something like this. I'm not saying you, you have to buy me this. why is that important? For him to no, know. No, I've just seen it and I've remembered it. Like, 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 remember like, it, it and smile to it yourself. It should not like, make you feel insecure. Yeah. It's very <laughs> simple, stupid things. Oh, that was James's favorite restaurant. Just that. And that's about it. I'm not saying that, okay, now we must go there because he should take me there. No. So to me, so it's not a comparison. It's just, just keep your mouth shut. Mm. He doesn't need to know. He doesn't need to know. He doesn't. <laughs> so don't, right? don't number one. Do not go to your ex's house. Please. Yeah. 
I whatever agree. it is, if you guys want to meet, meet in public. I like, agree. Do not, do not. Unless. Enter. If there is, if you guys were like from the same social circle, and then there's, there's a, a party, party at or something, his yeah. house where there is like a bunch of other people, but also don't sleep over. It doesn't matter if, <laughs> if there are twenty other guys who are sleeping over. I don't think. You I should. don't think that rule is uh, very effective because what if you want something your ex has to offer? For example, your ex could say, "Oh, there's an interesting business opportunity. You're going to you make crazy money." Else? Uh, come over. Let's talk about it. Must we meet in his house? So are you, are, are, you not, house. are you not gonna on, go? Must we on meet the same couch house. where you used to do the same? If he, gives, yeah. if, if he gives the condition, you come to my house. That then we talk. To smash. Let's allow. No. And yes, you may saying, have to saying, smash. Saying friends with their family, it. like say, I was, um, I knew your mom. Do I stay um, calling your mom up and checking on her, or how does you know, that James described friendship and being cool. You can be cool with the family, but not <clears throat> now that they're, they're calling you be, because you know uh, you used to maybe you, you you knew someone in government some somewhere, and now they're calling. You, oh, uh, we we are applying for a passport. That person in the passport office, please help us. No, okay, that, that I but could allow. Cool. But say if your mother-in-law, for instance, ex ex boyfriend's mom was your but they like you guys had now bonded to that point that she would call you without having to go through him. Mm. Still has your number. You guys would chat about certain things, and now she's still calling you, or you still call her. Would that be appropriate? If she calls me, I'll pick up. But me, me initiating calls. Why am I calling her? Because for her, she she, she probably g- genuinely wants to 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 just check up on. I think probably mm-hmm. you should let them initiate so that yeah, if exactly. his mom initiate. calls you, you can be cordial yeah. and nice mm-hmm. and polite. Mm-hmm. But you don't. You shouldn't be the one trying exactly. to keep the Reaching relationship. Reaching out to, mm. to their family. No, that one clearly shows that you're, you. That's you're a violation. Over you're, that's that. a violation. You know, we're mm-hmm. taking notes because you never know how things go. Let's Mm-mm. take these notes. Mm-mm. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> no. Okay. Um, as we end, how would you deal with your partner's ex? Or are you currently dealing with one? I know for you, Madame, very secure. We respect yeah, you. Just Hats off. Overly so. secure. So I don't know. James. Maybe maybe I'm just a delusional, sec- secure person. But they don't bother me. Not even a <laughs> single bit. Mm. Well, when it comes to men, though, for sure, the ex is only the ex because he has you. The moment he gets vulnerable, go back and smash his chick, man. His original chick. Trust. Then now, Trust. the problem there is not the ex. The problem is the man, Nadia. Because I, 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 be told you, I told you, I told you, I told you, men do not dump. Mm. They don't get over women just like that. True. That's true. Like once he had you and he felt like he owned you, he's forever going to see you as that chick. He's going to call you baby. Oh, my wifey. Oh, my God, I wanted to have kids with you. Those, those, those things they say, not just because they want to make you feel flattered or whatever, because they actually believe those things that they're telling you. Sometimes, the moment you allow. sometimes he just wants to to get you a little wet and see how far you can push it, because he wants to to uh-huh. smash. Not all the time, Bruno. Oh, here you know, I actually wanted to. I saw myself with this person. He wants to see. Does it make you a little bit loose? If it does, that is his chance. If you just laugh at yeah, and be like, yeah, 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 whatever. <laughs> so then, how how would you man? Handle your, your partner's exes. You don't even have to ask me because me, I'm very okay. As long as he tells me everything, don't make me feel insecure and you only make me feel insecure by hiding things and then I discover later. If your ex calls you, save her name in the regular way and I know you're, you're talking to her and don't go to another room to pick up. My exes call me and I talk, at times I, I even put, put them on speaker and I'm like, oh, I'm here with Boo. Hey, yes. really? That's 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 ballsy. That's so what if ballsy. the the ex starts uh, tripping, talking some funny shit? What no, but I I am telling him that I am here with my man because I have nothing to hide, and I'm telling him don't be funny. I'm picking up, but I'm here. Yeah, with, you see, because with you're checking him by saying don't be funny because you know for sure he's going to be funny. No, 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 not at all. Because <laughs> now, if at all he called, and then I moved to another room to pick up. What do you think is going to stay in his mind? Why, why are That's you moving situation. away to pick up your ex's call? Excuse me, but so don't you know the rules? When you're hanging out with Boo, you're supposed to keep your phone on silent or on exactly. airplane mode. You, no. I mean, if, if, the, if a call comes emotion. through, just... Do you know how much, how much it will give now questions in my head? Someone is over calling you, but for, for some reason, you've put the phone on silent mode, you've covered it... 
so cool. That is gonna make me crazy. That's the mm. worst thing. Like maybe you're showing your girlfriend like something funny on your phone, mm. like some then, picture, ooh. and then ooh, notification. Oh, oh my I god! I yeah. Last night was fun. Okay, <laughs> not sending dick pics and I don't know nudes to your yeah. ex. Please, yeah. that's that one is annoying. Conan, how would you, you deal with an annoying Mm-mm. ex? Yeah. Well, um, fortunately, I I'm not the kind that creates these uh, vicious ex-girlfriends don't want to like ruin my life no, maybe, 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 if, it's, if it's coming from your partner in this case like your girl has this one ex that's oh if she has yeah. uh, an ex that's um well you know personally i tend not to be a very insecure person i tend at least well, i used to be for sure but now i'm, I'm more open-minded so i'm like yeah if she wants to talk to her ex or what like i don't even care mm. and usually that helps to keep the relationship or whatever it is we're doing it helps to keep it going because she yeah. knows that i'm not easily rattled and that's yeah. uh, you know it's a sign of confidence yeah that's scary as well and also another thing is don't don't use your ex as your emotional crutches for lack of a better word of every time you you're dealing with something he's he's your run to person he's your this he's your that he's your that but texting very the soon the the lines are gonna start becoming blurred mm. because now i'm going and i'm ranting to my to my ex about like my man and then you know he's you know like there should be me he can tell me about his his girl and ask me for like advice. Rarely is it the other way around. If I tell him, "Oh, my man, he has done this," da, 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 that's why they think that you're still single. I run to sending you Nadia, flowers. my girls. I run to my girls about my man. I will rant, call him. Also, never will I say a thing to my ex. My ex thinks my current is the, is best the epitome. Yeah. Exactly. That is what he should always know. So that he knows that he doesn't stand a chance. But if I keep on telling him, oh my God, this dog. This, I can call my man a dog in, in front of you. Never you, to my man. But do you know why that <laughs> doesn't work? That, that doesn't work because he's probably seen you cycle through several relationships where each time you've claimed that that man is finally the man no that you've been yeah. working for. So, it's a, so if you've had a string of five, six boyfriends since the time you were with me, you think I'm going to be impressed that you're now dating the seventh guy after me? I'm like, yeah, it's, it's probably going to end too. She's going to come back. She'll be She's back. She's her way back. <laughs> yeah. Now, back to Zaddy. <laughs> to me, don't make your ex an emotional crutch. Yeah, I agree. Mm-hmm. I agree with you on that, honestly. So let's wrap this up. Um, we've talked a lot about Friends, being friends with your exes and how it could potentially backfire or in some cases it's, it's inevitable. So just be mindful about how you go about managing those relationships, especially if you have someone else in your life at the moment. Um, thank you guys for jumping on this conversation. It was very, very good. To our audience, uh, make sure you share, like, subscribe. And until then, bye-bye. Bye.